Uh, in the database space in particular, there's been a huge explosion in, in providers in recent years. Um, whilst a few five years ago, it was just a straight choice between the major relational database providers, now enterprises have got a huge number of choices and different approaches that they can take. So if you're dealing with large amounts of information, the first thing you want to do is perhaps divide those up into different categories of, of similar types. Um, if you look obviously at, at a library and they're dealing with hundreds of thousands of books, you, you immediately divide those up into categories of books on similar subjects. The database space, you can very quickly actually divide those up into categories and subcategories. So the relational and non-relational databases have been around for, for decades. And then more recently, things like NoSQL, NewSQL, and then different subcategories from there. So that's where we started off. Having divided up you know, the, the different databases into the different subcategories, uh, you can start to, to, to illustrate those and put those in groups. Obviously, the world doesn't necessarily divide up uh, quite as, as, as evenly as you'd like, and there's obviously areas of overlap. Uh, and what we found was that the, the points of intersection, when you look at fine-grained detail, uh, are, are many and varied. And actually, uh, whilst at, at a high level, there's obvious groups of databases, once you start looking at a closer level, you know, there's a lot more points of intersection and it, and it can become actually quite messy. So by mapping out the different technologies as, as different lines of, of similar uh, databases and then really highlighting the points of intersection, what we found is that you can actually visualize the, 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 the landscape in a way that an organization can start by looking at perhaps the technologies they've, ad they've adopted now and they've looked at before and follow the lines to identify similar emerging technologies and where some of the different areas overlap.